Hey everyone, welcome into Dom Time. Thanks very much for joining us tonight. Tomorrow, President Obama starts a nationwide campaign about the middle class, about the middle out versus trickle down. I'll be talking about his economic vision. Right here in New Jersey, though, we have a big issue coming up in the state ballot this November. And the issue essentially, as I understand it, and we'll talk with our two guests who differ greatly on this, I think, tonight, is the minimum wage, should it be a living wage, should it rise to $8.25 an hour, $8.25 an hour, and then one of our guests says be on autopilot after that to reflect a continued increase. Joining us tonight on opposite sides of this issue are Gordon uh, McGinnis. Gordon is the president of New Jersey Policy Perspectives, former member of the State Senate and Assembly in New Jersey, and former Assistant Commissioner of Education, also, Michael Saltzman, Research Director, <coughs> Employment Policies Institute, who is traveling in New Jersey tonight. And Michael, I'm looking at some of the headlines. Boy, you're a big fat cat, according to these $500,000 your group's spending to pound away here at, through the restaurant industry to stop people from getting that $8.25 and then market indices onto that in New Jersey. What do you have to say for yourself? Well, I think what we're trying to do is we're trying to educate the public about the unintended consequences of increasing right. the minimum wage. And the theme of some of the ads we've been running is, sounds like a good idea, but actually isn't. And so when you look at the evidence on raising the minimum wage, mm -hmm. I think what you see is that uh, it hasn't been terribly effective at reducing poverty. Uh, and it also comes with these unintended consequences, which include things like either fewer hours uh, or a loss of jobs for less skilled employees. And but, I think H25 in New Jersey, for mm -hmm. people watching as Pennsylvania, New York, Jersey, Delaware, that mm -hmm. seems minuscule. Well, I think you have to talk about, so, so $8.25 an hour, so that's a dollar more, and it's also uh, going to be put on autopilot to rise with inflation. So even mm -hmm. with the, just that dollar, if you're a, a small business with a staff of 20 minimum wage employees, that's an additional $20,000 each year. I mean, you're maybe lucky if you're clearing that in profit. And so that's going to put businesses in a difficult situation mm -hmm. where they either have to raise prices, which they may not be able to do, or figure out how to provide the same product with uh, less service in a less costly manner. Gordon, so, what's the argument as we look at the state constitution on this? Well, first of all, this is not about reducing poverty because $8.25 an hour, $9.25 mm -hmm. right. an hour, $10.25, that's not gonna get you out of poverty. This is a very high cost region. So that we're not talking about this as an effort to reduce poverty. We're talking about giving people a chance to try and get their way into the bottom What about money? the employers, though? What about the employers who have hired guys with Michael or Lisa's think tank well, instead of the restaurant industry? What's your take on them? Are they just too greedy? Is that what it comes down to? Well, no, I think they want to make profit, and anything right. that increases their costs will, in their view, reduce their profit. Mm -hmm. uh, but we have to look at this in terms of the effect it will have. He, Michael talks about the unintended consequences. We mm -hmm. have thousands of academic studies about the effects of raising the minimum wage. And you can find somebody on any side of, an, of, of the issue, for any issue, an academic who will put something out that will take a point of view. Let's look at the real world. There are nine states that increased their minimum wage on January 1st, 2012. And it's a varied group of states. It's the western states like Arizona, Montana, Washington, Oregon industrial states like Ohio. And what happened as a result of it? What happened is that their experience in terms of job gains and job, job loss is no different than it is for states that held to the $7. Now, New employment. Jersey, you're aware, has 27%, as we sit here tonight, teenage unemployment. So if I'm a business guy watching tonight, we'd like to have them call in. We'd like to have people call in and support it. You know, am I going to give these teenagers a chance when you're forcing me now to increase okay. this with, then you have Affordable Health Care Act right. coming in on these guys, et cetera, right. the piling right. on effect. Right. When does it reach critical mass? So the, the teenager argument, which I'm sympathetic to, I worked right. as a teen for minimum right. wage, my first jobs, obviously. But in fact, 80% of the people who would benefit from this increase in the minimum wage are adults. They're not teenagers. That's not the, that's not the primary uh, target for increasing wages. Secondly, we don't mention that this is an immediate and complete 
uh, increase to the economy. People get this money, they're going to spend it immediately and locally because they are so far behind. Okay, let's now, so, just, I want to ask one question. Is there something we all agree on, though? I think this is great that this is on the ballot. I'm a little bit reluctant it's part of the state constitution. But you obviously want it to be on the ballot, right, in November? I would prefer that this be done in the normal legislative process and signed by the governor. That wasn't possible. The governor right. made clear he wouldn't sign I it. I like the vote. I want to I wanted have people have a chance. How about you, Michael? Is this fraught with any danger from your position that it's going to be on the ballot in November? Sure. I, well, so to this idea that raising the minimum wage is going to have any kind of positive effect on the economy, there's, there's no serious academic research out there that supports that idea. And, and even, actually, Sylvia Allegra um, your organization has put out uh, press releases promoting her research. Um, she recently uh, didn't defend that idea. She said that it wasn't supportable by the evidence. And so the reason why the minimum wage is not going to stimulate the economy is because, again, you're putting employers in this situation where they either have to raise prices, which means mm -hmm. even if people have more money but in their pocket, they're paying more. People watching today are saying, well, come on, $8.25 an hour. Though. Well, okay, so let's talk about $8.25 and let's talk about who earns the minimum right. wage. So. Um, about 70% of the people who would be affected by the increase in the minimum wage to 825 are not sole or primary earners. So we're talking about, um, we are talking about some teens. We're talking about uh, second earners in a married couple. When I used to live in Philadelphia, I worked as an right. economist. My wife worked a minimum wage job. But so are you disparaging them by because they're no, the second earners? Well, no, I'm not. I guess I, I think the point is that the vast majority of people who we're trying to target here actually aren't the ones who are, we're intending to target. So if you look at who's, who's, who's earning the minimum wage, about 7% of the people who would be affected by this are single parents. Mm -hmm. And so for those minimum wage earners, we're supportive of policies like the Earned Income Tax Credit, which What do you think about that? Well, well no, hold no, that thought, wait, wait, wait. We, have, we have a for, break coming up, Gordon. I'll give you first shot okay. coming back. Uh, this is another solution to this. Now remember, if you're in the tri-state area here watching us tonight, certainly, on Dom Time, this is on the ballot in New Jersey come November, your chance to vote on this. We'd love to have you call in tonight. We'll get Gordon's perspective on this. What about the earned income tax credit as a way to go versus putting this on the employer? Straight ahead on Dom Time.